Hi folks, this is uh, One Take Piano Technology, One Take Productions. Uh, we're talking today about B72, the uh, hammer hardening solution that is taking the world by storm. Uh, this is what it looks like. I bought this on Amazon. This is probably as much as I'm going to use in the rest of my lifetime. It's available from uh, the Irwins out in California and a variety of other uh, places as well. You see it comes in this, they're sort of odd little crystals uh, that have to be dissolved uh, before they can be used. And the nice thing about B72 is you can dissolve it in a number of different thinners, but one of the best is grain alcohol uh, because it do, it's easy to get and it doesn't smell. When you're using it in a home, you don't have that terrible acetone smell that usually comes with most hardeners and this dries very quickly you'll find uh, allowing you to work with the voicing uh, quickly. So the the uh, good basic measurement for a medium solution is 10 grams of B72 to 200 milliliters of ethanol uh, or any solvent but I recommend ethanol. Uh, and 200 milliliters is about three quarters of a cup. I don't know if you can see that really but it's just about three quarters of a cup of grain alcohol. So what you do is you have a, a jar that can be sealed and you pour the grain alcohol into there and you measure out your 10 grams of um, B72 and I suggest you measure it carefully because uh, uh, well I just think it's a good idea. Um, and you can normally just dump this in. I've done this normally uh, just by dumping it in the jar. The problem is it coagulates in the bottom. It doesn't dissolve very quickly. It takes, you know, at least 24 hours or so, uh, sometimes more, to dissolve. And if it dissolve, coagulates in the bottom, you got to stir it up every so often and, and uh, uh, get it to dissolve completely. So I'm trying a different approach today. I've got just this cotton glove and I've fed my 10 grams down into the fingers and I'm going to suspend that in the alcohol and I'm going to close the uh, jar and I don't like it to evaporate. I'm kind of I, I, a little bit of a stickler for exactness so I don't want it, if I'm making a medium solution I want it to stay a medium solution and so therefore I don't want the ethanol to evaporate so I'm just putting a little bit of extra protection there uh, so to speak and give it a little swish around and I'm gonna swish it around uh, every I don't know as often as I think about it certainly every couple hours or uh, so I'm not gonna get up in the middle of the night to do it but uh, I'll swish it around a couple times tonight and then tomorrow during the day I'll swish it around and uh, until it dissolves completely I really want it to be a thin um, solution I guess I got a jar a little bit too big didn't I um, and there you go then you can thin it more for a thin solution. Uh, it's not so easy to thicken it, but I'm, I'm not sure that I'd ever want to use a, a thick solution. So we're talking about medium, being able to thin it down to a thin solution. Uh, the thin solution generally is 10 grams to 400 milliliters, so you basically double the, the uh, ethanol in here, um, and that would give you a thin solution. All right, hope this helps. Thanks. Bye.